Welcome back to Phantom Hourglass. Due to various scheduling problems, it's just going to be me and Yoshi today, and for the next few parts. But today, we're going to be doing a bit of exploring. First, I'm, a, I'm shooting at wind. <laughs> well, I mean, you can shoot the wind literally, it's fine. It's Pizza Joe, he, he, that's what he does. You can also shoot at pirates. <laughs> if you manage to sink their boats, sometimes they'll actually have stuff that you can pick up off the seafloor. Depends on the type of pirate, though. Can we shoot this ship, or...? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we sink it, we would be able to get anything pretty quick, you know? He only has limited stock each day. Well, that's true. Good thing. And I'm pretty sure Beetle just kind of recuperates, like, mitosis, like, it will just be another one. <laughs> oh, yeah, the... Customizing the ship parts. I remember this. That was really appealing to me when I, when I first played it. I'm not worrying about it too much in this LP. I tried to get some good stuff. Yeah. But I gave up after a point. <laughs> I don't know if I were the one that's playing it, I'd have the... I'd have everybody vote. Like, alright, how, how should the ship look? I'm not that patient anymore, I just record the whole LP first. <laughs> I understand. It's fun that I could just turn around and discover a new island. <laughs> just crane your neck. Oh, that wasn't there. <laughs> yes, it was! <laughs> Manifest destiny, I found it. <laughs> And you're also destroying it by, with those <laughs> bombs I was watching. Zows. This is just like America. It's small and acorn shaped. I cannot roll to save my damn life. <laughs> There's rarely anything ever in the trees. But you just have a need to do it, though. I just want to be sure. Yeah, you just want to, like, oh, well, oh, just, just drop the magic sword that you can only get in this specific tree. <laughs> drop the magic sword, he said at the club. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done terrorizing his chickens. Let's meet Zows. Oh, yeah, he's probably one of the most interesting characters. You haven't been excused. <laughs> Maybe he can't hear us. <laughs> 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 oh. Zalz looks pretty much exactly like Ganondorf. Yeah, I find that to be pretty peculiar. Especially since he's a good guy. He just kind of looks like Ganondorf. Yeah. And we're in some parallel other side of the place dimension. So it's like, oh, it's nice that if you are the counterpart to Ganondorf, that he's just, he just, he may, he works with metal. Just blacksmith. That's nice. Your ancestor drowned, by the way. <laughs> after I stabbed after, him in the head. After, yeah, yeah, after I stabbed him and he turned to stone and drowned, and, uh, it's a funny story. Name's Pizza Joe. <laughs> I've had a life. <laughs> I'm having another one right now. <laughs> so I know there's something here. I can see that chest, obviously. But I know there's something else here. Oh, yeah, I remember. Isn't there, like, something you have to dig out? Yeah. And it helps to mark it on the map. It's those stone tiles it's referring to. <laughs> Presumably it helps to actually line up the line with how it looks on the stone, but then that one isn't pointing the right way, so... <laughs> if anything, I know I did not get that quite right. So eventually I just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, just Gatling gun it. <laughs> well, that gets me a treasure map. 
I mean, I do like the V for Vendetta marking you made. Just to be like, <laughs> yeah, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> this is a nice warm island, he says, sipping a pina colada. And he looks at you. Wow, you're working pretty hard there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the island full of holes. You come over dripping with sweat. Man, working on the boat is hard work. Oof. <laughs> you know, like, I went, I went to the back... And I made sure that the pipe worked. It worked. <laughs> and by that, I, I looked at it. Like, and so I rewarded myself. <laughs> you know, I just need a me day. <laughs> to be honest, when you're me, every day is a me day. <laughs> so these jellyfish are kind of bizarre. You can shoot them for rupees. They only ever give you green rupees. If you can manage to juggle them well, they'll actually split off into two, and then eventually three. And if you can keep them juggling, you can make a decent amount of money if you've got the patience. After I talked about me not having much patience. <laughs> you don't have the patience for Let's Play shenanigans, but you have the patience for helping you in the Let's Play. Yeah. Like, this is money. You need money. It's priorities. For me, it's always some stupid challenge or something that no person in their right mind should do. Which I probably did do in this LP. Which is why it's so torturous when I do them, and why they're infrequent for me, by the way, if you ever wondered. Punch-Out <laughs> was hard! It was really hard, <laughs> but it was fun. We got a comment in my Discord, just just today, just somebody pinged you, it's like, hey, when are you finally doing Pikmin 3? <laughs> I said it a little bit nicer than that, but it was like, yeah. I was just like, by the time I saw it, it was like two or three in the morning, so I was like, oh shit, because I, I, I sometimes mute it, and I forgot to unmute it, and I was like, uh, I didn't, the way I wrote it made it sound like, yeah, when I feel like it, but it, I meant it more like, I, I have other stuff going on, I don't really have time for Let's Plays. Um, at least recording and, like, editing Let's Plays. They did write it like they were not at all aware that you had other things to do. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you know, I, it wasn't, I don't really blame the guy or anything, because uh, the reality is I do want to do more. It's just the process of how I do them, depending on the game. Like, what, Pikmin 3? I'm going to want to do it as perfect as I can, mm -hmm. and in the shortest amount of days, so it's, it's always going to be like... That yellow one on that rock needs to be there for the next 30 minutes, and if I come back and he's dead, then the whole day has to be reset. You know, that kind of shit. Yeah. But anyway, this is about Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> yeah. So we actually, we know this guy. This is the deadbeat dad who left behind his wife and son. <clears throat> and the reason he's out here, the reason he left behind is because he's looking for a mermaid, so he can drop her in a kiddie pool. <laughs> What a hero. What a life. What a legend. And he, like, never once mentions his family. He has abandoned them thoroughly. Why? I don't know. I mean, I get it. He wants to see, he wants a mermaid. He thinks it's pretty, but abandoning your previous life... Imagine, like, you, you gave up your whole family, left them behind, moved to another country, just so you could, like, have a rat in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> like, you could do that anywhere. Like, I get that it's a mermaid, but, like, don't they, like, call you over with siren songs and usually they sing for your demise? Well, presumably that's a siren and they're a separate thing. <laughs> yeah. They are more pretty much, though. Yeah, they're just gonna kill you. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to die in a really elaborate way, <laughs> and he's too far in, like, I need the mermaid to end me. He's dedicated now. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to be if you abandon, you know, a real baby you made. So I remember this guy from Wind Waker. In fact, very recently, GEQ happened, and they had a lot of fun with this guy when they did the Wind Waker HD run. Yeah. I feel bad for the runners who had to say kaboom more than uh, the average human does in, <laughs> yeah. in the whole lifetime. Speaking of which... Yep. They didn't give him any of the voice clips, sadly. <laughs> but he, once again, is doing a canon minigame, only this time, plus aside from the one canon island, we are actually using the cannon, it's not Battleship. <laughs> it 
so they made it more engaging and more fun. No! Oh, so they just made it worse. Well, I don't know. If anything, we are actually in the boat. It moves on its own, so all we have to do is hit the targets. And with the touchscreen, that's pretty easy. The problem is this. You have to be on point beyond belief. To get the high score, just to reach it, you cannot miss a single target. It's me missing the targets there, I have failed. Period. <sighs> Those blue ones give you 100 points. Those red ones you can keep firing to get 20 points. You basically need to get 100 points on every single target. Alright, I see. And that's just to meet the high score? Just to meet it. Jesus. The annoying thing, because it does depend on how close you are to the targets for the cannonball to actually reach it. Yeah, since the whole boat's on rails. Well, well, it's on the ocean, but you know what I mean. Yeah. There's a giant squid underneath just pulling me along. <laughs> it's, it's a friendly squid. It doesn't help that the music is really boring and repetitive. <laughs> Shoot the targets, you missed one. <laughs> I like hitting the red ones, because it looks like they're just taking it and they're really unimpressed. <laughs> yeah, and they're very sturdy. Unimpressed and sturdy. I want I want that to be my mod. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm like when I watch most YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it, but you're gonna finish it. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm already halfway through. Unless I'm like two minutes in and I already hate it. Yeah. Which happens more often than like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to do this a lot. It took me several <laughs> tr tries to actually manage it. Hey, I mean, at least I get it. <laughs> If you can get, like, 120 off of the red targets, you're golden. Like, every single one, then it's kind of guaranteed. You only need to play it once, you only need to pass the high score once. There's no hard container, it's just an upgrade to your bomb bag. Oh boy. But I still want that. <laughs> I mean, I like how the trumpets go off, though. <laughs> Pick a chest, it's guaranteed, though. Okay, I was gonna say, can you imagine they make you go through all of that and it's like, whoa, here's a green rupee, nerd. <laughs> At least 20 is good. It's a free game. <laughs> and now I beat the record I just set again. <laughs> so technically, you could just, like, score, like, what the high score was, and then once you get that 20, you just stop. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh. There, yeah, now with that, you can tell everybody you're a ding -a -ling. Here's some money. <laughs> so you don't need to play it a second time once you beat the high score. <laughs> ship parts are great if you want to get all the ship parts. Or at least a really good one. Uh, I wouldn't call it treasure. <laughs> Man, watching you just pilot the boat. Ugh. I need a sip. <laughs> I should probably say steer because I'm assuming there's gonna be some boat enthusiast. It's like, that's not the term you use. I'm sorry, I just don't want to say put it in drive. <laughs> you boat the boat. <laughs> you cruise. Yoshi, that's only in sailboats. Alright, fine. I'll kill myself later. So this is a weird island. There is no map whatsoever. You need to draw it out yourself. <laughs> I 
I love how lazy he is. <laughs> just, I, I don't know, somewhere. Just find it. Boing, go away. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's my day off. Really, it is. Unfortunately, I have to work a golden chief tools and <laughs> So when I hit the first one, that was correct. Because <laughs> that's clearly a rudder. Yeah. It's not that big. <laughs> you get to get the general idea across. I mean, you almost have like a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, you kind of have like a little belly button going on with like a small stomach. But... <laughs> Alright, now I'm just trying to guess what you're making. Uh... It's a carrot with a face. And a rudder. <laughs> I don't know what that line was, like I dropped a stylus or something. A, a, a man with a long half of his face. A whale. It's a whale. Hey, I was right. A whale with an overbite. <laughs> Or like a really flabby right arm, if you look close enough. And like, the, you see where the little lines coming up from the back guard? Where it looks like it's supposed to be shooting water, it's shooting out blood. <laughs> With the right hand side, it looks like a boxing glove. And uh, the rest is just flab. This whale's had a hard life. That's why it's an island now, it just drained all its blood, now it's solid. <laughs> Don't you want to sail on the whale's blood? <laughs> Come on, kids. Instead of whipping out the sword, it'd be funny if he just kicked up. <laughs> it, it kicks him, but due to cartoony physics, he's the one who makes the boy. This <laughs> <laughs> just gonna feel the pain of it. That's what happens when his bone breaks. It's <laughs> alright, Pizza Joe can grow another one, we think. <laughs> There's a pole. Can't do anything with that yet. Hmm. I think you can balance on them if you just approach. You can, but you can't do anything yeah, you... other than that until we've got a new item. <laughs> yeah, but you can do the thing that little kids like to do when they just stand on, like, little parts of the sidewalk. You know? Excuse me. You're excused? Silos. As opposed to Cyclos from Wind Waker? Yeah, yeah, I think it was Cyclos before, and he was like red and fat, and his life was in the toilet. <laughs> Silos says a little better. Yeah, he's the third brother who looks successful, but douchey. On the ocean, I hope. <laughs> oh, you know, it's at the store. <laughs> Alright, Cyclone Slate. This allows us to fast travel.
This replaces the Wind Waker because I'm assuming Pizza Joe ate it at one point, which is why he never uses it or it's ever referenced. He uses it as a toothpick, it's snapped. <laughs> <laughs> he just needed an extra arrow and he was like good enough it's useless <laughs> eh. oh, I got caught in the bow it broke it <laughs> oh, that one doesn't yell at me I don't need to get it That's my guilt minions. They've all done horrible crimes. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> like, watch you drown. What the fuck am I drawing? <laughs> I... Um... Oh, that's a reminder to come back for the poll. Oh, oh. Oh, I see, I see, I see it now. I thought you were drawing, like, a side of the cliff. So was I. I was thinking that's the completely wrong place. <laughs> it's like one of those things you look back on like months later. You're like, what the fuck was I do? Nope. Oh, hello. Oh. Say. Lord of Crimson Cats. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Oh. It's the Lord of Irish Hobos. <laughs> Lord of the Dance. <laughs> Lord of the Crows, really. <laughs> it's a good thing you came. They were going to eat me. So he's a hero driving around in the Prince of Red Lions. Well, the counterpart, I figured... We're Pizza Joe. He must be like, I don't know, Gargle Jack. <laughs> I mean, fucking look at him. <laughs> he drinks Listerine. You know it. <laughs> it would have been Garlic Jack, but he just <laughs> gargles too much. <laughs> oh, he has a fucking pitchfork. That's his <laughs> weapon. That actually would hurt more than a sword, really, but... It's not as reliable. Hacha! So with... I'm still calling him Gargle Jack. We just hit him. <laughs> you hit him and his arm falls off. Ah! Ah! Well, you remember Orca from Wind Waker. Yeah. It's pretty much like that. Just hit him and don't get hit yourself. <laughs> okay, but you remember how Orko was like a trained swordsman and this is some poor guy that you're stabbing in his own boat? Well, they both use spears for whatever reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back for him. But what you want to do is you want to leave, then immediately go back into the ship. Beat him up a bit more, and eventually you'll get a hard container. Presumably from his body. <laughs> Just cut him out. Well, he's got a hard <laughs> in his belt. I mean, I don't want to reach there, so... I'd rather just rip it out of his chest. Alright, Beetle. Give me that blob. The good thing is a wisdom gem. <laughs> Maybe I'll be smarter here now. You can't be wise if you're not already smart. My fortune cookie said that once. <laughs> <laughs> After I swallowed the whole thing. <laughs> well, that was uh, quite a day. That was. It was just a bit of exploration. Next time we'll be heading back to the Temple of the Ocean King, and then we'll do a bit more exploring, because there's plenty of stuff to do in this game. That's actually pretty impressive, seeing as how it's on DS, you know? Yeah. I, I know it's like the follow-up to Wind Waker. It's just like, some, sometimes I'm like a fan of Hourglass, and I'm like, why is it that it feels like the ocean here has more stuff than the one, the big one on the GameCube? It's just because there's only four quadrants, and they, they shoved a bunch of stuff into all of them. Yeah, that too, and... There doesn't seem to be any time constraints for this title, at least, from what I could tell. I guess, yeah.
when Waker got hit with that. I was hoping that they would have, like, like when they were like, yeah, we're doing Wind Waker HD. It's like, oh, cool. Are you going to make those temples you said you were going to do? Nope. But it's HD. It's like, all right, they fixed some things. But <laughs> I always think, like, man, that, that could have been, like, take two, you know? Like, where you just, like, here's the real, like, full thing we wanted to do. But but I and I get wanting to like, keep the game as uh, faithful as it was to the original. Save that for another game kind of thing. Yeah, and I, uh, it would probably require a lot more memory, but it would be kind of cool if like there were two options, play the game as it was originally, or play it with the new additions. Yeah, with like new Pizza Joe mode, where it's like, oh, we added some more stuff. We added a couple temples. We added them in a giant pizza slice. <laughs> yeah, Pizza heals you. Pizza Jane is playable. If you 100% it, you get to play as Pizza Graham, but she only has one heart. <laughs> And also she gets sick halfway through and you have to switch back to Pizza Joe. <laughs> but you get a super special ending if you beat the game with Pizza Graham. You get a Pizza Graham in the mail. <laughs> and you open it and it says, Pizza Graham is best. <laughs> it's very somber. It's very depressing. <laughs> so this is why I'm not in char charge of any video game. This is why Nintendo hasn't hired you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't see why they don't respond to my letters that I type in all caps. <laughs> Let's say Pizzagram is dead. <laughs> That's all I've been writing. <laughs> <laughs> Ideas for Super Smash Brothers, and then, like, they open up the email, and it just says Pizzagram is dead, and they're like, well, I guess he's right. <laughs> they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's right. That's very non confrontational. <laughs> because, like, look, what's easier, actually responding to that or just ignoring it? Because, like, they're probably going to bajillion emails a day from, like, little Timmy who's like, oh, I really like Mario. And then you have this ass clown over here <laughs> with a strongly worded three hour essay video. And then you. <laughs> and then me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yours would be the most confusing because there's nothing tells them that Pizza Graham is a person or that Graham is short for grandma. Nor do they know what Pizza Graham even is. They're like, is that like a telegram? Like, what? It... It's like, oh, yeah, it's a really obscure Let's Play joke, actually. Yeah, it's like a kissogram that got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go <laughs> from there. <laughs> <laughs>